Okay, um, I'm here with this month's tool shed kit, and this is the um, bonus embellishment pack. So let's go through the part one, and again, this kit has lots of bold colors and neutral colors from the paint chips collection from seven dot studio and the more neutral collection from 49 and market um so these are going to be the coordinating embellishments for that and i'm sorry i don't i don't know the name of the kit yet i just know that this is this month tool shed kit but i'm not sure on the name of the kit yet sorry about that i just haven't been online to see that and I do apologize for that. I've just, we've had a lot of illness in the family. Um, but for the 49 and Market, um, this is a Dusty Attic laser cut shapes. So these um, actually do look very similar. I wonder if they bought them or, but this is um, a board or a plastic. I'm not sure. I've never seen this before, but it's black and it's, it's the clocks. Let's pull this out see if I can get it out okay it is a board and then you're gonna have these little tiny little chipboard pieces that are black so like this one here this the gear and they're just little chipboard pieces so you get that sorry I always like to check things out that I'm not familiar with and that one is a new one for me and then we have a stencil gorgeous I love the little the funny different cube shapes from the crafters workshop and then we have some thickers um with the chill think smile happy best day ever dream you're awesome these are super fun um with the the script writing and their puffy stickers so that's fun black so it'll work with all the different layouts onto the verse stickers and these are from seven dot studio i love these kind of stickers that they do it smell it's like smell the sweet rain the blank canvas, trust in the process, junk journal, splatter paint, crea creativity takes courage. There's just all these fun little verses that are perfect for tags, tr you know, your layouts, any kind of um, little art journal books or anything like that. So lots of fun little things on there. And then we have um, more of the die cuts with the really bold colors. Okay. And then we have some from 49 Market, and these are more die cuts, so then they have a fun little um, compass down here, some tags, a flower, a photo frame, some more photo frames, um, and they're coming out a little bit, so I don't want to be too rough with that. And then this one here looks like it is from... 49 market as well I'm gonna guess um, and then it's just the you would cut out it's a cutout so you have the the script down here at the bottom and then you have the different Polaroid frames up here okay and then the flowers in the bonus embellishments and other fun stuff Let's see, we have some stunning flowers from Prima with the teal and the lime green. Um, some lighter colors with the gray. Very pretty. Um, 49 in market. Um, really dark hunter green. And more of a sunflower pattern down here. And then some Prima. Uh, door signs, I think they are. Yeah, door signs. So those are super fun. And then that's it for the bonus embellishment pack. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and loop in the, in the bonus chipboard packet. And that's here. And this is, you know, a ton of extra chipboard for not a crazy price. And it's all coordinated to match this kit. So we have creative embellishments. And these are fun little... Um, they look like kind of little grungy little circles, paint circles, um, little splatters, and you can see there's a bunch of those in there, like different rings with splatters. So like coffee stains, things like that. Super cute. More of a flourish. So these are great to build up your flower clusters, anything like that. 
Very pretty. We have some Seven Dot Studio um, chipboard, which is the white already, so that's super fun to work with. More paint splatters and graphic designs. Um, a nice fun circle. Um, a 6x6 six six panel. And this is super fun because it has all these little the cutouts in it. So it has all the pebbles. So then you get that bonus chipboard as well. And then a chain. And there's two chain links in there. So that's fun. Okay. So now we are at five minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and just throw in... Um, what is in the mixed media kit and then I will do an additional video to show you um, the different mediums this month as well. So we have Lindsay um, Stamp Gang and this one is a Stardust. I'm sorry, um, a Starburst. And that means that it has more of the shimmer in it. And you can kind of see the iridescence in this one. And this one is Cathedral Pines Green. So I actually have this one on hand, I believe. Yes, right here. So let me see. And it has a really, it's a pretty, it's a very pretty blue, bluish green there. You can kind of see it at the bottom there. Let me get that mixed up. You can see it's a pretty it's a pretty potent green. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of that shimmer there. This is a very pretty green. Okay. And then there are we have two shakers. It looks like mine may be leaking just a teeny tiny bit, maybe. Um, but we have the time traveler teal and the black forest black um and i know like the fun thing with this one is with the black it's made up of all the different colors so when you add the water to it if you don't overdo it you can actually see the different colors that are in it so it makes it kind of fun um, where is my water bottle? Ah! Hmm. Works better with a water bottle. But I want to keep you waiting too long. So there you can kind of see... The different like you can see a little bit of the pinks here and the greens and then if you just let that dry just like that you're going to get all the the colors that make up that black forest so you can see kind of a little rainbow pattern a little bit there a little bit super cool effect that's one of the reasons why these shakers are so fun and then um, with the time travel teal it's very similar to the To the spray obviously but then you can see a little bit of it there and you can see they're just re reactive to water you can mix them in with your paint you can mix them in with any kind of gel medium so if you mix them with a matte medium you're going to get more of a matte finish obviously and then with a gloss you're still going to have that high shine and you can see they don't have as much shimmer as the other one but you can still see that tiny little bit of um, silver shimmer in there okay uh, we have a purple embossing powder, and this is polka purple. So it's going to be a pretty, I believe it's a kind of iridescent one as well. Maybe, maybe it's more flat. Okay. And then we have, <coughs> excuse me, Pucker Up Pink. And this is from um, Shimmers. And this is more of the dimensional mixed media paint. And then this one here is Hold the Mustard, and it's the same. So let's see if I can get these open. Okay. So you can see, I mean, it's a very, it's a thick paint. If you hold it upside down, it doesn't just, it doesn't come out. So if that gives you an idea of the texture of it. Okay. So let me just grab a quick little, just a little plastic spoon. So it's, it's not 
runny paint. So you're going to be able to use this through a stencil. You're going to be able to use this with a palette knife. You're going to be able to thin it out and paint with it if you want to. Um, anything like that. But it is going to hold that dimension at whatever you do. So if you put it through a stencil, you're going to have that. If you just scrape it on with a palette knife like I did, you're going to have the texture through there. And I, I had a little bit of residue from uh, the shaker on there. That's the, the green that you're seeing there. I must have overshaked a little bit. Let me see if I can get this open. Oh my goodness. Okay, and for the pink. Oh my goodness, I can't get it open. My husband's not home to say, here, honey, open this for me. Okay, it's like the pickle jars. Okay, now this one is a little bit of a thinner paint, and this has definitely got more of a shimmer to it. Um, it's not as matte as the yellow. So it's very iridescent. You can kind of see the way the light's picking that up there. And this is much, much thinner. Um, you could still use it through a, um, a stencil, but I would say that you would have to make sure that your stencil is firmly in place so you're not going to get any of that push underneath. It's pretty heavy pigment there because you can see that extra pink down there. But it is still going on with the spoon, so it still will go on with the palette knife, absolutely. I'm sure that you can probably um, water it down a tiny bit and then use a paintbrush if you're trying to get that kind of effect there. But it is a really pretty um, fuchsia, very bold pink. Um, pretty 80s kind of color is what makes me think of, but that's because I'm old, so I don't know. But okay, so that's the mixed media kit that coordinates with this month's tool shed kit, and I hope that that gives you a little bit more information to go on than just the pictures. And if you have any questions, please link them below, and I'll try to answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you so much, and you have a great day. Bye-bye.